So good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. We are back again with the first of free uploads today. Uh, obviously, this is the first, like I said. Second is at 4 p.m. UK time. Ransom Bance is back again, uh, fresh off of the back of his title win. And um, he's showing everyone how to do it. Shame our clubs are in the gutter, aren't, aren't they? But it is what it is. Then at 10 o'clock tonight, I'll be back again with a final upload. So plenty of content to come. Big up to everyone who subscribed to the More channel. The link is in the description. My new vlog channel. Make sure you subscribe. It's about 100 away from 5K. And uh, the next vlog is dropping tonight. So make sure you check that out. That'll be dropping around, imagine around 9 o'clock. Worst ways, depending on what I'll do later, it'll be 11 o'clock. But I'd say about 9. So make sure you subscribe nearly 5k let's get that up to 60k real quick as well that'd be great but let's speak about joseph willock and uh, joe willock the uh, the midfield maestro who scored seven in seven at newcastle and uh, equaled alan shearer's record actually scored more goals in them seven games than our entire arsenal midfield has in two seasons so we decide you know what what would be a great idea is we'll just go don't need a goal scoring midfielder. We'll get rid of him. Well done. Well done. Not only that, um, you could look at it two ways, actually. You could look at it as, well, before the loan, was he worth 25 million quid? Probably not. I don't know. Um, but then you could look at it the other way and say, well, if he was at Chelsea and he'd gone on loan and done that, Chelsea would have flogged him for about 40 million. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But the worst thing about this whole thing is, is that we have known that Newcastle have wanted him since January, hence why they got him on loan. We have known that the fee is around £25 million. We've known that since January. So we've decided to wait until a few days before the window, um, or sorry, before the season starts, to do the deal. One, why wasn't this tied into the contract for the loan? Two, why have we left it so late when we knew this all summer? Uh, he wasn't at the Euros and um, we could have got the deal done pretty quick. And three, why is it that we are the slowest club in the Premier League to do any type of business, yet we're the club that probably needs to do the most work? That makes no sense to me. Like, it's almost like they're trying to take the piss, and it's almost like they're try trying to troll us, right, to test us. And the thing is, the majority of these sheep and these little lemmings will um, just suck it up. Like I've seen people put in um, posts around today of Gabrielle back in, in Colney holding Martinelli's medal. Who cares? Like, why are you showing us that? We, and all the big accounts are on it. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's giving him his medal to hold the medal. What's that got to do with getting some transfers in? Use your accounts to start saying it as it is rather than like just generic crap. I'm sick and tired of these people, man. These people are a big, big problem in the Arsenal fan base. Like just generic copy and paste merchants. And it's about time we started having all of these accounts saying it as it is, holding the club accountable, trying to get the best for this football club. Because the one thing I always do, I don't care if I go about it the wrong way or you, or people think I go about it the wrong way. I don't care if people think I'm rude and disrespectful. Genuinely couldn't give a toss. At the end of the day, I want my football club to win. And I want my football club to win titles. Yeah, and... That's not negative to me. So when people want to say I'm negative, I'm not negative. I'm positive. Yeah, I want to win titles. All these people that are trusting the process that are now starting to cry. Good. Where you been for two years? Glad you're on board. All the ones that are still trusting the process, uh, you are a problem, a big problem, because you're doing the owner's work. But just back to Willock. Um, good luck to him, man. Good luck to him. I really hope he smashes it. Newcastle fans watching this, you got yourself a quality player. Um, I don't genuinely think under Arteta he would ever have got a chance but I do think that if Emery was here because Emery did like him and he did do very well under Emery I think if Emery was here he might have kicked on and been um been bagging all them goals for us rather than Newcastle on loan so I think he's a decent player whether he's at the level required for us to kick back on and get us where we want to be I'm not so sure but with all due respect <coughs> to Newcastle um I do think that he will easily, easily make your team a lot better in midfield. He'll give you energy. He'll drive forward. He'll score goals. 
His off the ball work rate's all right, but sometimes he's a little bit lax. He jogs back rather than sprinting back. He done it against Norwich a couple of times a few seasons ago in the same game. But his awareness is a little bit iffy. But other than that, I think he's a pretty decent player. And let's not forget here as well, this kid is only 21. Like people are banging on and, and tapping out on Joe Willock like he's like a 24-year-old, 25-year-old. The kid's 21, 21 years old. And uh, it came through our academy from little days since he was about six, I think. So, listen, good luck to him, man. It's a shame it didn't work out under this manager. But listen, this manager's destroying my football club. Uh, how can you get rid of... Um, how can you get rid of Joe Willock and then go and sign up Granite Xhaka to a new deal? Like, that makes no sense to me. How can you get rid of Emi Martinez and sign Runnison? Like, what's that all about? Again, makes no sense to me. But that's what this manager's doing. And I'll tell you something, this season is the season he gets sacked. 100%. And I'm going to keep on him until he is sacked. And hopefully, hopefully we see a proper manager come in. I want to see somebody like Conte, man. Just get Conte in right now. Aubameyang looks like he couldn't give a toss. I think he'd um I think he'd get him firing again. I think he's kind of tapped out on Mikel Arteta. But I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Look, at the end of the day, the season kicks off on Friday, four days away. It's gonna be peak. It's gonna be peak. And the only goal scoring midfielder we have at our club is now en route to Newcastle. So yeah, he was actually spotted in Newcastle as well. A uh, young Newcastle fan posted it on his Instagram. He was spotted in Newcastle, smiling driving his motor so um or in the passenger seat of a motor so yeah man good luck to him i hope he smashes it i really do wouldn't it be ironic if he um if he scored the winning goal against us <laughs> that would just sum up the arteta um the arteta reign wouldn't it the player that he loaned out comes and scores the winner at the embers oh can i just say as well big up to william saliba big up to matteo ganduzzi absolutely ripping it up in france on their debut, yes, well, Saliba's debut. Um, he was outstanding, man. Like, literally outstanding. So, um, they were 2-0 down to Montpellier and uh, come back and won 3-2. So, well done to them, man. Both of them had a good game, apparently. I didn't watch it, but from what I see all over the timeline, everyone was raving about them. So, yeah, man, big up to them. And listen, make sure you are back again at 4pm. I will be doing the show with Rance, like I said. And um, then I'll be back again at 10 o'clock. Make sure you follow the More channel especially the more channel do it now do it now uh follow my insta as well that'd be nice and um yeah leave your thoughts and comments on joe willock do you think 25 mils too much or too cheap um or do you think that um it's about right do you think that it'll be a success at newcastle or was it just a little fluke and a little purple patch and um what do you make to Mikel arteta saying a couple of weeks ago that he's in our plans only to sell him to newcastle leave all of that down below and let me know your thoughts, feelings on that. And uh, I'll see you all again at four o'clock for the show with Rants and Bants. Until then, I'll take her out. Edu out. Sickly sweet positive fans out. Cockroach journalists out. And I'm out.